In four years, it's grown to more than a billion users. And unlike Facebook or Twitter, it's controlled by the Chinese intelligence apparatus. They helped create it and the artificial intelligence behind it that makes it so addictive. Unlike Facebook and other American apps, TikTok allegedly collects your search and browsing history, keystroke patterns, location data, face prints, voice prints, text images, and videos on devices, clipboards, and then sends it back to China for storage and review. Brendan Carr is a commissioner at the Federal Communications Commission and just demanded both Google and Apple ban the app from their app stores. All right, so President Trump tried to do this a couple of years ago because of these security concerns. Now you're telling Apple and Google that it's imperative they do it. Any chance they actually do it? Well, look, I'm deeply concerned about this. The, the Biden administration has been undergoing a national security review of TikTok, but frankly, that's been proceeding too slowly. So what I did was just went ahead and wrote directly to Apple and Google and say, look, the misrepresentation that TikTok is engaging in terms of who can access your data, including engineers in Beijing, as you pointed out, is not consistent with their representations to get into the App Store. So while that national security review continues, Apple and Google should step up right now and boot them from the App Store for their misrepresentations about how your data is being accessed. Yeah, you say it's not just another video app, it's that in sheep's clothing. Is there any reason to believe so far that either Apple or Google are going to heed this warning from you? You know, it's not clear. We'll see. I gave them until July 8th to provide a response. There's no question that Apple and Google have deep ties into China, whether it's for manufacturing of the iPhone or Android. So they're an interesting spot from that perspective. But I do think they should just do a straightforward application of their policy here. Because, look, this information is going back. The Chinese government is the world's best at using this data for nefarious purposes, whether it's blackmail, uh, business, espionage. Uh, foreign influence campaign, so we need to put an end to this. And this is for anybody who has TikTok on their phone, no matter what privacy settings you have, no matter what Apple or Google has assured you of, the Chinese have found a way around this. What's curious is, why are you the only one ringing the alarm bells uh, this loudly, you think? You know, it's a good question. As you noted, the Trump administration went down this path. Biden administration clawed it back. They are engaging in a, a longer review. And there's some bipartisan support. Actually, Senator Schumer and Cotton were on a letter on this issue. But most people say, well, it's just a video. Who really cares? But as you pointed out, it's getting search browsing history. It's getting keystroke patterns, location information. This is highly sensitive stuff. TikTok says, look, we store it in the U.S. Well, that's, a, a, that's just misleading because it may be stored here, but it's being accessed uh, by engineers in Beijing. And as you pointed out, once it's accessed in China, there's no limit on how that information can be used. Yeah, no, specifically, every every company has to give their, their data over to the Chinese intelligence services. What's more valuable than the location of Americans and what they're doing and the like? Uh, la last question for you. Uh, there's so many other companies that have ties in China and use in, sell in China and the like. Apple manufactures their phones in China. What is it, why are we to believe that all, they are safer to use uh, than TikTok? Yeah, you know, look, I think there's there's broad-based concerns um, about all sorts of uh, applications. I think there's a lot of people in Congress, including Senator Blackburn, that's looking at tightening some of this. And I think, you know, look, there's some real hypocrisy when it comes to Apple in particular. They'll get out there on the soapbox, talk about human rights and protecting privacy while they're literally doing the bidding of the communist regime, including censorship uh, inside their operations there in China. Well, and as you point out, uh, the hypocrisy even comes home if they're talking about privacy and yet allow an app uh, on the app store that, by your by your definition, doesn't conform or, or protect us all. Uh, Mr. Commissioner, thank you. Uh, come back to us when uh, Apple and Google give you their response, all right? We'll do it. Thanks so much. Yeah, thank you, sir. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.